Good evening. Uh, in this video, I will talk about data types uh, which existing inside JavaScript. There are eight data types in JavaScript. And what is a data type? Uh, every time we assign a value to a variable and uh, the value will always has a certain type, either a string or a number or other types. And in JavaScript, there are eight data, data types. The first one is a number. And in JavaScript, is uh, special because uh, some some people may know Java. In Java, we have integer, we have a float, we have a double, those types, right? And uh, integer, float, double, all of them in Java represent numbers, but uh, for uh, but they have uh, several different kind of uh, types represent numbers. In JavaScript, we only have one type, which is called a number type. And the number type will represent both integer and the floating numbers. What it is. So here I have a variable defined with a let, and I assign the value is a one, two, three. One, two, three is a number, and this is an integer number. But in JavaScript, we don't have integer. Instead, the type of number one, okay, the variable hold, is a number type. And here, we have another number, but this number is a floating number, okay, floating number. And in JavaScript, the type of number two, which is variable, okay, hold the oh, 12.345, is also a number. So that's a special thing in JavaScript compared with Java, okay? Um, only one type represent all the numbers, okay? Which is a number type. Second one is a string. A string in JavaScript must be surrounded by quotes. And there are three types of quotes. One is a double quote, okay? And the other one is a single quote. Last one is a backticks, which is using this, uh, uh, which is the one in the keyboard is a one um, before the number one. Okay, number the number one before that, or or the one above the top, that's backtick. So inside the JavaScript, you can use all of the ways we're showing here to rep represent a string, but. Uh, the only one which is a little bit special is uh, the back ticks. Let me show you the difference, okay. And uh, uh, double quotes and single quotes, it's your own choice to use. Here, uh, let me comment all of them, the following of them, okay. Yeah. Because, uh, because <laughs> I have uh, two laptops and uh, the, the other one is Windows. and. Uh, and I'm more familiar with Windows. The keyboard is different, so sometimes I'm confused. Okay, so this one is define a variable. Uh, def uh, sorry, this one is define a, a string. Okay, and the str this variable hold a string, and here we're using double quote. And the str two this is also a variable, and this one hold a string, and we're using quotes is a single quote. In JavaScript, both of them are fine. Okay, you can you can uh, here I don't using alert. Okay, and I will using one called the console.log. Console.log it will print the things inside of the console. Okay, I will show you. Like here, str one. Okay, and then clg str two. All of them are string. Okay, let uh I will go to here open in my browser gonna become the chrome and how to see the one well previously we all use alert right alert will have pop up and console log it will print the things inside the console 
how to give a console using uh, inspect this is a developer tool and then you go to console str oh i didn't have str1 so it's gonna be str so this one str right yeah, that's not str1 that's how we debug and find the errors because i don't have str1 and i'm trying to print it so it's, it says not defined now i refresh you will say hello and you have uh, uh, single quotes and uh, that is uh, a way to define the uh, string in Java you can only use in double quotes and this is very convenient you can use because in Java suppose I want to have a single quote uh, which is this scenario uh, let 3 str3 suppose I want to say this is uh, Tina's Okay, uh, Miss XRNG's channel. Okay, and uh, you will see error because in this string, I want to have a single quote inside that, right? And in Java, you can you in Java you will have a double quote here. It's also doable, but if here I want to have double quotes, I want to have double quotes here. In Java, you're also gonna fail because you cannot have double quotes. It's gonna represent the, the end of this uh, starting quote. And in JavaScript, it is very convenient to do, okay? What I need to do, suppose you want to have a single quote in, in this string, you just wrap as double quotes. And if you want to have a double quotes inside a string, what you're gonna do? Wrap it using single quote. It's very convenient, right? So it won't have, a, uh, you know, a miss uh, kind of like a syntax error. Otherwise, because this, if you're using double quote and here's double quote, and he will think this one is a closing for the double quotes, okay? So that's very convenient to you when we have both, okay? Especially in a string, you have some uh, quotes, okay? In this case, we are using double. Very convenient. The last one is called the back tick. Uh, the back tick, the special thing about back tick is uh, you can have a variable evaluate in the double tick, uh, in the back tick, sorry. So let me explain the situation. Hmm, comment this one. Suppose I have another uh, greeting, and what I'm gonna do is uh, I want to have a string which look like this. I want to have the str1, str value and a plus like this. I want to have a string as a hello, Miss uh, Xin, right? And this uh, hello, I want to grab a value from str. And uh, with our back tick, probably we, can, we need to using string concatenation which is str plus uh, the remaining, right? Do like this way. And when we're using console.log, greeting, and uh, we open in the browser, like a uh, refresh, you will see, hello, Miss XNG. That is using uh, either the same, using single code, double code. If you want to um, have some variable to be used in the string, you have to using the like concatenation. And when we have back tick, we can embed another uh, variable, okay? Another string. So let greeting two. We can do is using back tick, back tick, and then we can using hello. How to how can I refer hello in the back tick using this syntax dollar sign? and have brace, okay, and str, str is this variable name, okay, and then continue with your, like a miss, xing, and the clg, greeting two. So, they, the greeting one, a uh, greeting and a green two, you will see, it's gonna be the same value being printed in the console here, you will say hello, Miss SNG, but they are totally different. This one is using string concatenation. This one is using back ticks. Okay, uh, in the back ticks, you can refer the variables using the special syntax dollar sign and with the brace. Okay, it's very useful. 
So you only need to work with uh, the long string concatenation, add a little, a lot of a plus, 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 okay? Very useful one. So this is a string. Let's go back to our slides. Next one is a Boolean. I think this one is existing in almost every language, right? Uh, the Boolean only has two values, either true or false, exactly same like other language. And how to define? We have a variable and hold the true value, another variable hold the false. And here is a math operator, which is greater than, when four, four is greater than one, right? So it's greater, will give the value of this expression and it's gonna be true, right? So that says uh, how to define Boolean. It's very easy inside the JavaScript. And the same as others. But uh, later on, we will talk about Boolean. It has a true and a false value, and we will talk about it in future slides, OK? It's uh, a little bit different from uh, Java, the Boolean types. The noun value. The special noun value does not belong to any of the types in JavaScript. It forms a separate type which of its own, which contains only noun value. So how to become, how to how noun works? You define a variable age, and you especially assign noun here. Okay, which means age. This variable it exists, and the value is a noun. In JavaScript, noun is not a, is not a reference to a non-existing object or a noun point like in other language. It's just a special value called a noun, okay? It's just a special value which represents nothing empty or value unknown. Like in the above, this noun, it means the age. I don't know it, okay? This is a noun. There's another special uh, type. It's called undefined. And uh, this special Value undefined also stands apart, like uh, noun. It doesn't belong to object, it doesn't belong to boolean, it doesn't belong to string or number. It's a special type called a noun, or it's a special type here, it's called undefined. The meaning of undefined is a value is not assigned, okay? For here, age, you have a special value called a noun. But for this undefined, it means you define a variable, but you didn't assign any value. So here, I had defined a variable username. I didn't use an equal sign to assign any value. So the default value for username is going to become undefined. That is undefined use. Let me show you this one, okay? It, they, are, they are different, undefined and not. Discard. Uh, let me go back to our uh, here. So I will comment those, okay, and uh, let me write this one. So here I will CLGH, okay, you will see a value which is uh, now. You will see now, but if I do another way, which is let use name, and here uh, we are using CLG, okay, okay, and you will see a difference like this one is undefined here you can also do like this way age okay and here is uh, you can also using backtick let's learn okay here like a username and what's the value of username how to refer username you can using dollar sign and the other dollar sign and here give a username Go here, refresh, you will see age, the value is now. Your name is undefined, okay? Uh, a lot of times you will see uh, you undefined a lot of times. And uh, sometimes in the future you will say you, uh, you cannot make a, make a call from undefined or you cannot grab a property from undefined. You will see lots of errors related to undefined in the future. Uh, when we write, don't write a code very carefully, okay? Anyway, so undefined, when you define variable, but it don't assign any values. And there are another two, okay, data types, which are objects and symbols. And I list objects and symbols here is for the completeness 
of data types because we mentioned there are eight data types, right? We already talked about number one, string two, boolean three, noun four, undefined five. Okay. That's one more missing. What is this one? Uh, okay, I'll finish the talk. I will, uh, it's eight or seven. That's all the thing, all of them, right? Oh, seven, probably seven. Okay, if it has, uh, if I made a mistake, I will, uh, I will make a, you know, fix uh, next video. Okay, so here I will continue. Okay, so next one is objects and symbols. Okay, and uh, for this one, I will discuss in the future. Number, string, boolean, noun, undefined. I think that's all, all of them. Anyway, I'll, I'll fix if it's eight. Okay, I couldn't, I couldn't think about it now. And uh, ob objects and symbols, all other types, all other types are called the primitive because their values can only contain only one single thing, either a string or either a number. Okay, or either boolean, but for objects, they can select uh, store a collection of data and more complex entities. You will see later, like objects gonna be look like this way. You can store username is uh, something, and you can store what thing the password is uh, something like this. And uh, this is array is also uh, an object so like one, two, three, four. Here you have multiple values, and the symbol type is used to create unique identifiers for the objects. We will discuss the details about objects and symbols in the future. Okay, so uh, that's it for the data types, and uh, see you in next video. Bye bye.